how are we seeing stress then manifest across China's credit market? How bad is it right now? Well, we're seeing a really rather brutal sell-off in China high-yield junk bonds today. Um, the kind of broader uh, market down about five cents on the dollar. Single B-rated names down as much as ten cents. So that's sort of the worst uh, performance since 2013 at least. Um, and, and I think the danger here is that we're really seeing a kind of shift in tone after this sort of surprise mispayment by Fantasia. The expectation was actually that they were going to make this payment, albeit face other financial financial uh, struggles in, with its next uh, maturities. And the problem, of course, is that this becomes a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. If borrowing costs soar to levels at which these weaker companies cannot refinance their debt, of course, it becomes inevitable uh, that they will struggle to repay that and that we will see more defaults. Of course, the broader landscape here is against that this is all happening against this backdrop of this kind of imminent or, you know, potential restructuring at Evergrande Group, which people are so worried about here. Um, very little clarity. Uh, with exactly how that's going to play out and, of course, with this potential sale by Pops and another property developer of uh, Evergrande property unit uh, stake sale. So there's a lot of uncertainty here and uh, bondholders and investors are looking very, very closely uh, at some of these kind of weaker companies and their weaker cash flows.